Here's the before, and then uh, soon we'll show the after. All right, here we go. This is what we got. I'm glad I went for the big one because I can tell it's gonna be just enough. So we got the two holes here. Same old shit, you've seen it all before. The one thing I like about this one is it doesn't have lever legs. It's just these. I could even take these off if I wanted, if I wanted to get a little lower to the ground. But I like the way this is, so it's cool. So there's nothing to break this. It's not too tall, it's not like this. You know, it's going to be more like that, which is cool, so. Fairly lightweight, nothing worse than getting a pedal board too small. So, I went with the big one, and I'm glad I did. All right, here's the case. Kind of cool, decent. I mean, I don't expect much. It's not paper thin, and it's not super thick. Oh, we got some treats. We got treats, I haven't even looked at, oh, this might be legs or something. Strap, other crap, don't really care. We'll look at that later. You know, you know what? I kind of like the kind of dark blue gray too. And a uh, little side pocket here. Oh no, it's not a side pocket. It's a make yourself look like an idiot thing. Okay. Oh, by the way, little rubber feet. All right, we got two zippers. And listen to the weight. It's like I say, it's kind of, you know, it's not bad. You know, bend your bolt, whatever. What do you want? It's 100 bucks or something, so. Now, I gotta put tape on this, but uh, I think this thing might even be bowed a little bit. Maybe not. Anyway, gotta get the tape on. It's gonna take a little time, but let's get started. All right, first I'm gonna clean it with some proper cleaning equipment. I have no idea what's the proper equipment, but I figure I'll get some of the dust off. So yes, I could, should use alcohol, I should use blah, blah, blah. But this is all I got in the house, so it's brand new, guys, come on. Here's our Velcro. We're using the big end, obviously. The little end is for the, uh, the pedals, so this fits perfectly right here. I said I haven't done a pedal board in a long time. I don't think I've ever done a pedal board. Well. I did have pedals early on. My dad worked at a guitar uh, distributor. After that, I got my first band. I actually had a Laney head, which I regret selling back in the day. Archel Cabinet, I'll try to put a picture up, with the GP8. And you'll hear Dan talk about that all the time on the pedal show. So um, after that, I went digital when I moved to Vegas in 2008 because it was cover bands. And you gotta go from Pat Benatar to Bruno Mars to, you know, whatever. So it's much easier to just have those things all dialed in. So I don't think I've ever really done a pedal board. Let's get this thing taped up and then we'll go to stage two. I'm really making a point to keep this straight. Looking good. I think I went a little long. So at this last moment, we'll clip that shit. All right. Well, I gotta take these puckers out. All right, I'll do the other three and then we'll go to stage two, which is the pedals.
I have no idea how this thing works to mount these brackets. You have to get a drill, and it uh, says it's done. It's for the Voodoo Lab, which I don't have. I have the uh, budget-friendly Donner power supply. So you know what? A few people have done the um, Velcro, and I'm going to do that. Although I don't think that's enough. And by the way, I'm going to have this up like this. So I could still read the amps because they're different ones and I don't want to plug something in the wrong. So technically this will be upside down, I think. But anyway, I'm installing it this way. That's why I'm doing it so I can still read these later. Otherwise, I won't be able to see it. This will be how it gets mounted. You can see the uh, plug hole. So let me tell you, first I put this in with just the, uh, you can't see it, but the Velcro. And it was pretty damn tight. I was surprised, but I'm afraid of it falling down not side to side so that's why I put in the zip ties so it's velcroed and zip tied it ain't pretty but it doesn't get in the way of anything this will be upside down and by the way it works I didn't break it so let's turn this baby around there you go so basically if I have some pedals anyway so it's gonna look fine I'm liking this pedal board man there's gonna be plenty of room to do whatever so again Go big. Next up, panel order. And Velcro. Okay, so I kind of got my pedals outlined the way I think I'm gonna put them, but it's not written in stone yet. But first we have to uh, put the Velcro on all the pedals individually, so that's what I'm doing now. Then I'll kind of get them lined up the way I think I want them. And then next comes the wires and the uh, cables and all that bullshit but it's starting to look pretty good I'm digging this uh, pedal board I got the right size again but anyway time to put some tape on these pedals okay I had to flip over the power supply you learn as you go you can see where the plugs come in when it's flipped over reversed they were almost cut off by the bar this bar was getting in the way when this thing was flipped over so uh, I made a few markings just to tell which amps and uh, voltage things are happening on there. So, that's flipped over, problem solved. So now we're just doing all the uh, final wiring up here. And uh, once all these pedals are in place, we will do a final demo. And this Electro Harmonics compressor uh, tone corset on its way today. So that's what's gonna go here. I'm replacing the uh, Joyo, which was actually pretty damn good for 32 bucks or whatever it is. So if you're on a budget, grab it. I'm on a budget, but I I think the damn uh, tone corset's so pretty and I love Electro Harmonics for 92 bucks, I'm grabbing it. So anyway, this is that, what it's gonna be. And then once this is all wired up, we'll give it a shot. Okay, we're all wired up. Uh, I'm short a few wires and I'm short a few patch cables, so we're not going to do the whole trifecta today. But uh, most of this will be operational. So the tuner will not be applied today. We do have the overdrive, we do have the soul food, and we do have the brand new Electro Harmonics tone corset. I played with it for about 30 seconds just to make it sure everything's working. These are the current settings, I'm sure they'll change. Uh, by the way, the pad really does reduce the volume, so it's not needed for me. Uh, I'm going to kind of do this as an always on, always on pedal because it just kind of warms everything up a little bit and you can see I don't have it on that drastically. This thing is killer man, it was like 30 bucks and it really works great. I don't know what a, a real one sounds like but this one works great. Alright so then these are going through the effects loop, you know, always on delay and an always on reverb. So you can see these are all barely on, they're in the effects loop just to give it a little depth and thickness. And then I uh, really love this thing, I'm just starting to get to know it again. This is for, uh, you know, anything much more than these two. So anyway, this is it. It's just going through my humble Soldano made Jet City, I guess, made by Soldano. We'll be playing through this little guy and I'll give you a quick sample. Like I say, it's not really ready for uh, showtime yet, but we'll at least get an idea that the damn thing works. Mm -hmm. 